maximum armor. Maximum speed. Maximum strength. What's going on guys? Power GPU here by myself. It's pretty late. I'm actually just uh, digging into some chips here while I benchmark. It's been fun. As you can see I put the fan there on the window. It was getting hot in this room. This room always gets hot. The vent is covered. No likey. Why is that? Oh, that's the case of the 970. It's just sitting there. Um, I actually am running right now a benchmark of Metro last light as you can see there it's been running out for about 35 minutes 40 minutes um, just seeing what the temperature gets up to um, this is on auto fan speed I haven't adjusted it and uh, you could you could tell right there that the core is at 1316 1329 that's what it fluctuates to with the factory settings on the on the EVGA ACX model that I got uh, GPU usage is pretty good, power usage is pretty high, and the frame rate, it's doing great. Um, keep in mind, this is only at uh, 1920 by 1080, which, yes, I understand, it's pretty fail, but, uh, hey, that's all I got to work with right now. I haven't been doing too too much crazy stuff. Uh, actually, let me go over the uh, settings on this game real quick that I'm running. I am running video, so it's running 1920 by 1080, very high, 2 times A, 4 times A is dumb, there's no point to it, texture fill rate 16, motion blur normal, and tessellation very high. And of course V-Sync off, because V-Sync is gay. Alright, so that's been running for a while now, um, let me let it just sit there for a second, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come over here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. But that's the machine. Running for about 45 minutes. That's the card. Uh, like I said, on stock preset. It's pretty quiet. And uh, Metro Last Light runs like butter. It's at 139, 133, 135. Um, this card honestly is overkill for 1920 by 1080. The GTX 960, when that comes out, most likely would be more than enough for 1080p. But uh, yeah, that was it for this one. Let's move on to the next game. I'm gonna put on uh, Watch Dogs real quick. Hopefully, my uh, readout there works because it wasn't working before. That's why I went ahead and just did Metro last night. But uh. We'll see. All right, I'm back. I'm still eating my uh, chips and salsa. That's right. Um, now we're on Crisis 3. Uh, I've been having it running for a little bit now. Probably about 10 minutes. Um, I am... Let me go over the settings real quick. Make sure you guys can see this. So it's 1920 by 1080. Very high. I have two times AA again. Just like I said, anything above that's kind of pointless. Uh, very high textures and system specs all the way high. And it's 1920 by 1080, which is booty. But check this out. I wanted to show you this guys real quick too. So you see the resolution there, even though my TV is only 1080p. Oh, what's that? 2560 by 1440. Oh wait. What's that? 3840 by 2160. How in the world? That, my friends, is what you call uh, DSR, Dynamic Super Resolution. I just want to show you that real quick. I've already tried it. It works amazing. Um, I'm not using it in the benchmarks just because I don't want to confuse you guys with performance. So, um, uh, I am in a level that is... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with my hand. Yeah, with me holding the camera at the same time, but whatever. I guess we'll see what we can do. Try to concentrate. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this. I'm looking at the camera too right now, trying to make sure I don't mess. Come on. There we go. 
There we go. Gosh, I love this card, guys. I really do. I'm going to have to give it Power GPU's Editor's Choice Award. I mean, I'm telling you, it's it's really good. Oh, it's out. I might die. Let me uh, detach. Start shooting them here. Sorry, guys. I'm using one hand right now. I'm trying to hold the camera. I don't have my. I can't find my. Um, get out of here. Um, and uh, just to give you an idea here in a second, while it's doing all this crazy stuff, there's the, uh, as you can see, let me move the camera around, or the, the view a little bit more. Yeah, this game, or this video card eats anything and everything at 1920 by 1080. You can see their VRAM usage, core clock, memory clock, temperatures, GPU usage, and uh, of course the FPS. And again, we'll see what the video card sounds like. We'll go right over here. That's the loudest it gets. Back to my salsa and chips. I'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, I'm bye back bye. again. Now this time, I'm going to show you how DSR works. And how it actually works really well. Um, let's see over here, I got this other character. Alright, so right here in the top, as you can see it's 1920 by 1080. Let's go ahead and change it to... 3840 by 2160. Let's go ahead and apply. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave it on this character real quick. See if it's focus a little bit better. It's gonna be hard to tell with the video, but. All right, so that's at 4K right now with DSR, right? Now I'm going to change it back to 1080p. And you guys see the jagged edges? Right around there. Look underneath right here's shoulder. I watch when I go back to the DSR 4K. See how it smooths out? Right around there. Same thing with this guy right here. Let's see, let's put it right here. You see his face? That's 4K. Now let's put 1080p. Let's focus real quick before we do this. Alright, there you go. Alright, so you see his, his face area right here? Let's go back to 4K. Look how much smoother that is. Go back to 1080p. Way smoother. Huge difference. And uh, that's DSR. I played. I used to play Terra a lot, as you can see, um, and Terra had a lot of issues with jagged edges and stuff like that. So now that they came out with this new technology, a DSR, which the other thing I wanted to show you was, let's go ahead and uh, quit out of here real quick. One thing that's pretty cool is if I go here, you go to the Nvidia Control Panel, and this is where you find. You just go to manage 3D settings, and then you go right here where it says DSR factors, and then right here it says, it gives you all these options where you could check. So if you want to make your, so my native resolution right now is 1920 by 1080, so if I do it times 1.78, that does 2560 by 1440. If I do times 4, that's the 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. 
that's all you gotta do is select it there um, and that's pretty much it and then you just go from there the other cool thing is I could go here to my screen resolution on my monitor and actually change my screen re resolution on my monitor itself so if I wanted to I could go to 2560 by 1440 let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit apply See how I made it smaller? Same thing if I go to, I could go to 4K. Let's go to 4K. See what it did there? Now I have a 4K resolution on my desktop. And if I wanted to, I can keep these changes and use it as a 4K TV. Which is insane. So now let's say I go to YouTube. So everything's a lot clearer there, and if I go back to my 1080p, okay, makes everything a lot bigger. And now look at YouTube, and the taskbar at the top and at the bottom. So that's pretty sick. You can actually run your desktop as well at the uh, 4K resolution, which is pretty neat. All right. That's the end of that. Um, I might leave it at this for this video, and then I'll go ahead and do some more videos later on. I think I'm going to call it a night. I've been up for a while. I emptied a whole bag of chips by myself, which is no good. Night, night video card, and Xbox One, and Destiny's amazing, and those Turtle Beach headsets are amazing, and GCX 970 definitely a thumbs up. It's a really good card so far. Alright guys, see you later.